Welcome to the world of tennis, the scoop from inside and outside the lines. For the next eight weeks, you'll be center court for some of the most insightful and entertaining stories from around the globe. Through the wit and wisdom of our host, Justin Gimmelstad, World of Tennis will take you inside the training room with Dr. VJ Vod, a physician for many ATP players and one of America's most respected doctors. You'll get the best read on the tours with Tennis Magazine in our weekly roundtable and exclusive lessons from the legend with eight Grand Slams under his belt, Yvonne Lendl. In today's show, you'll witness the event that brought back this legend and find out what he's been doing for the last 16 years and how his comeback is making noise. Then, why are Andy and Pete making so much racket? These fans get a taste of some of tennis's well-known personalities. Plus, watch Pete Sampras take on Roger Federer in one of tennis's exciting events held at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Get all these insider's looks and more coming up on The World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. Hello, I'm Justin Gimmelstab, and welcome to the world of tennis, where we bring you up close and personal with your favorite tennis stars and give you an in-depth look at past and current tennis events. On this week's Look Back, how does a Roman emperor entice a former Czechoslovakian champion to the sandy beaches of Atlantic City for an epic comeback matchup? Watch the events you missed as we look back at this year's tennis events, brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. The first time in like, I think it's 15 years, tennis coming back to Atlantic City. You take a lot of pride in terms of having the ability as an organization to bring you know, together this great event. Our objective here is to bring the best tennis players in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the historic Boardwalk Hall and the 2010 Caesars Tennis Classic. Brad Saffin and Pete Sampras played and a uh, very entertaining match here. Saffin just retired last year at the end of last year, still playing fantastically well. Pete Sampras, one of the greatest servers of all time. Saffin got the best of him, but uh, Moratz is a great player. He did what he did in 2002. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, great. We'll see Pete in five more minutes. Pete, go rest up. We know you're getting up there in age and you need a little break in between matches. Played a round robin with the great Andy Roddick, who's just coming off a big win at the Sony Erickson. And Roddick again on top of his game. Still serving huge. A little too much in the end, a 6-4 win for Roddick. Very entertaining match. The fans really got treated at Caesars. Well, it was great. Uh, I've been saying uh, for the last two days that I'm, uh, I'm a tennis fan first and a player second. So uh, I had a blast being around all these great champions. It was a lot of fun. Opportunity for people around the world to see players of this caliber. I think these one night events are, are very important. And the big news from Atlantic City was the return of Yvonne Lendl, coming out of retirement after 16 years. It's big for the, the sport, big for him. It's good to see him, you know, he was a, my idol growing up. He can play now totally for himself, for fun. And that's really the reason to come back and do it. Everybody's been asking where is Ivan, and uh, we all know that he's had back problems and uh, been playing, playing a lot of golf and raising his five daughters, of course, so uh, better things to do, I guess. The time is right, just like the time was right here two years ago for Pete and uh, Roger to play. It's time, time is right for me to play. Two tennis Hall of Famers going at it, Ivan Lendl and Mats Vilander, a celebration of some great Grand Slam matches of years past. This is going to be a lot of fun today. This should be a fantastic match. The first time we've seen Yvonne Lendl on a tennis court in 16 years. He should be a little nervous to start. And that would be only natural. I certainly think Lendl um, was one of the first ones to set the bar as far as fitness. Um, you know, you talk to, I talked to Jimmy about it and he said, I never went to a gym in my life. You know, I just played tennis. I think he was the first player that really took fitness seriously. He took his diet seriously. Um, he was the one of the first guys who really hit the ball hard, and I think he sort of changed the sport. There you go. Lendl leads 2-1 with a big serve. He's sort of a prankster. I mean, people think he's a serious guy, but 
You know, the guy loves to laugh and he loves telling jokes. And if you're around him for a short period of time, it's funny. If you're not, if you're around for a long period of time, it ceases being funny. But as long as he thinks it's funny, that's what counts. So don't, don't listen to him. Any time between the 18th and 22nd is good. <laughs> you see what I have to put up with? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh! <laughs> what okay. do we do? Yeah, on camera, assault and battery. What's wrong with that? I think we're seeing a different side of Yvonne Lendl here through these vignettes. Look, he has a sense of humor, a very dry sense of humor. A practical joker, to be sure. And the okay, first break of the match, Leonardo 3-2. I think Yvonne found it extremely difficult to retire because the retirement was not in, in the means of his choosing. It was largely due to an injury. My back was so bad that uh, I wasn't finishing matches and uh, even if I did, I couldn't play the next day. I had more retirements in uh, last season than I had probably over the entire career. There's a doctor in Vero Beach who helped me a lot. My back has gotten better, a lot better over the last two years, so I can train more consistently. I can uh, work out today and be, be fully functional tomorrow, as, uh, even as little as 18 months ago, that, that would not be the case. All right, Vlander now, point away from the match. And there it is, these two great rivals meeting once again, and Vlander wins it 6-3. Great to see Ivan Lendl back on a tennis court. What was it like uh, playing Ivan again? In a way, I think uh, I played pretty good. Ivan played great. He, the first thing he said after the match, he said, next time I'll be, I will be better. So what did it feel like? It's been 16 years since you've been back on the court. Well, it was great. It was great playing again. And uh, as you can see, uh, my back is not hurting, so which is nice. And uh, uh, I enjoyed it. I would have enjoyed uh, playing a bit better more. But uh, as I said, the first, second, third time will be hard, and then it's going to get better. Do you guys want to have him back? This Look Back segment was brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. For more information, go to Wilson.com. While fun was served up for all in Atlantic City, this week, like every week, Yvonne gets down to business and focuses on the secrets to a successful serve in this week's Tennis Tip. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lindell is brought to you by the Champions Academy. To me, a tennis match is like a puzzle made up of different shots. You need to work on all the pieces of the puzzle in order to control the point, which is the key to the game. Only then can you let the pieces gel together and complete the puzzle to win the match. Hi, I'm Ivan Lendl and today we're going to work on our serve. It is very important to be able to hit spots in the service box. Three major spots on each side are out wide, down the body and onto the tee. Same thing on the head court, on the tee into the body and out wide. If somebody returns really well with forehands and backhands, you try to jam him. Also, you have to be able to mix up your serves, first and second, so the opponent never knows whether it's going to be backhand, forehand, or into the body. If the opponent can anticipate and know where you're going to serve, he's going to hurt you. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lindel is brought to you by the Champions Academy, where greatness happens. For more information, visit champacademy.com. Up next, Andy Roddick and Pete Sampras hit the court and make a lot of racket. Learn how to prevent the most common injury related to tennis with health tips from Dr. Vod. And later, catch Pete Sampras again with Roger Federer during the famous NetJet Showdown at Madison Square Garden. The World of Tennis is brought to you by BNP Paribas, the bank for a changing world. Wilson, number one in tennis. Tennis Magazine, get exclusive tennis coverage online at tennis.com. The MD System, clinically proven rapid pain relief topical. And by Yvonne Lendl's Champions Academy. For more information, visit champacademy.com.